365, see store encounters, keep the camera rolling in your store, watching the surroundings, uh, you ain't got no time for thieves, that ain't something that you need, check the system, this, this special edition of 365, see store encounters, is filmed on location with the employees of 365, all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another very special episode of 365 Sea Store Encounters. Yes, today's episode is going to be a little bit of a change of pace. No videos of thefts today, but we will look at these clips from the brave few who decided to try and beat our Beat the Bar Challenge. This is the 365 Beat the Bar Challenge. And the rules are simple. If you think you got what it takes, you can try and hang from this bar for 100 seconds to win $100 in cash. Sounds pretty simple in theory, but lots of these contestants definitely felt the burn. So without further ado, let's get right into this. This guy starts off very promisingly as the clock is ticking down and let's see if he'll win that big cashola. Still hanging along here. Ah, he dropped out with 76 seconds left on the clock. Not too shabby at all. And thanks for playing. Our next contestant goes for a bit more narrower underhand grip. And let's see how this works out for him. Getting a little fatigued here and repositioning. Oh, not looking too good for this guy with that swing. Oh, 74 seconds. Solid effort, man. Moving right along, we got this guy with the old reliable overhand grip. And he starts off the show swaying quite a bit. Oh, he fell with 91 seconds left. That swaying definitely starts to get in people's heads. Better look next time, man. I absolutely love this guy's look, and he's bringing a wide overhand grip to the table. Let's see how long he can go for. Slight sway here, but he is determined, and the clock is ticking. the halfway point now only 50 seconds left on the clock you can see his grip is really starting to loose ah he dropped with only 30 seconds left on the clock Great job, man. You're a winner in our hearts. Next up, we got this fella who loves barbecue, beer, and freedom. And I'll tell ya, I'm right there with ya. Confident overhand grip. Slight sway. Oh no, really starting to struggle here. Almost at the half. Ah, oh, that's a drop. That's a drop. Solid effort, my man. Next up, we got this younger fella and a brave one at that. Hope you win, my dude. Ah, oh, really struggling here. Oh, really struggling here while he's looking back at the clock. That got to make things worse. Oh, dropped with only 67 seconds left. Pretty amazing considering the age. You, sir, have my respect. Another young one stepping up to the bar. Let's see if she got what it takes. And drop with 85 seconds left on the clock. Kudos to you and great try. Looks like you're on your way to being a beat the bar champ. 
Next up, we have this gentleman with another overhand hang, and he is ready to show the bar who's boss. Looks very confident here, approaching the halfway point, and oh my god, what is he doing? Yes, he's doing pull-ups. This has to be the most confident display of bar hanging the sport has ever seen. Aw. Oh. One of his pull-ups unfortunately did not connect well, and he is down for the count. But with only 44 seconds left on the clock, that is not a bad number at all. We all dig the enthusiasm here, and I'm sure you'll beat it next time. If you thought that one was crazy, check this out. This guy has an extremely narrow underhand grip position, and he is determined to be crowned as a 365 Beat the Bar Challenge Hall of Famer. I gotta say, that hand positioning is giving my forearms a cramp just looking at it. What an ambitious play. Repositioning here, but still going strong. Another repos- Oh no, slip out. 63 seconds left on the clock. Amazing effort, very nice. Next up, we have another lovely guest, and she is also opting for an underhand grip. But this grip looks much more relaxed than the last one. And she is off to the races. Lowering a little bit now. Ah. Oh. Drops with 87 seconds left on the clock. Great attempt and very swag. Next up, we got another contestant who throws a curveball in the contest and requests that the safety mat be taken away, and we had to let him do it, considering there's no rule that clearly states he cannot remove it in the entire International Bar Hanging Association. What a confident request, especially after the Great Bar Fall incident of 1967. But luckily, we all remember how that turned out, and uh, former champion Nelson Bar Crusher Bartholomew's thumbs made a complete recovery. Anyways, back to the good stuff, and this guy is holding on for dear life. Oh my god, he falls with only 69 seconds left on the clock. Nice. Next up, we have this gentleman with a wide overhand grip, and let's see if he has what it takes. Remember, viewers, bar hanging is not just a sport of fitness and endurance. It also requires a sound mind to pull off an uninterrupted winning hang time. Approaching halfway there now. And he is halfway there. Whoa ho living on a prayer but this guy ain't bon john joking around here this is looking good for him no sway at all oh my god folks he is actually reaching the 10 second mark we might just have our first champion this year these 10 seconds are where dreams are made 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, he just did it. He took, oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, that was spectacular. Congratulations to our winner, and if you enjoyed this video, then please, by all means, comment down below, and make sure to hit that subscribe button before somebody does a pull-up. Didn't figure out how it was gonna work in that outro card. No worries. Take care, guys. 365 see store encounters keep the camera rolling in my store watching my surroundings <laughs> i ain't got no time for thieves that ain't something that i need check my system this is 4k real time stream let's go